as this video is going to contain some uh, extremely light training but uh, a purposeful light training so uh, this week rather than last week when I was uh, in calorie deficit training I, I have been force feeding now for about two days and uh, also this morning before training I got in just over 5,000 calories and uh, then my friend gave me a Snickers bar on top of that so maybe maybe up to 6,000 or so and then, then about 3,000 calories after now for for uh, for about two billion times with with no exaggeration because I always tell the truth um, I've been asked why I drink coca-cola all the time when I'm training now I don't know why people have that impression but I do drink coca-cola at a certain point in training and, and uh, the reason behind it varies so there's no one reason for it that there are there are many different reasons for it and uh, out of 52 weeks of training every year there might be about six weeks in the whole year where I actually drink this stuff now just to you know answer a question you know um, I've got I've got this stuff I'm gonna to explain to you the ingredients and, and why I, I drink this particularly on on this day now uh, out of courtesy to the to the brand I've just I've just undressed the bottle a little bit and uh, and um, I'm gonna go over the ingredients but first I want to go for the selling point it's it's got like massive letters here uh, with a massive marketing like logo here saying contains real fruit juice no artificial colors no artificial flavors all right so black then just below that it says black currant juice drink with sugars and sweeteners uh, ingredients water black currant juice from concentrate six percent sugar thickener and then in brackets polydextrose now polydextrose is a, a laboratory made sugar um, correct me if I'm wrong but that stuff is not found in nature so I don't know if that can be classed as an artificial uh, flavoring or not but it's actually quite a powerful stuff so when you when you force feed and you gain a lot of weight very quickly you start regenerating your skin especially if you've got fats with vitamin E in it you start regenerating your skin very fast so you get flaky skin etc and polydextrose is actually really good uh, for eczema and, and scaly or, or, or itchy skin so so at this day just as a precaution I drink that so I don't I don't get itchy skin from from uh, gaining this much weight now then it says here acidity regulator sodium gluconate now sodium gluconate uh, is an E number it's E576 correct me if I'm wrong uh, and, and, and again that, that's, that's uh, something that's used widely in uh, coloring metals like and, and, and textile coloring so I don't know if that's classed as an artificial coloring, but but uh, it's also used as a I don't know if I'm, if I'm pronouncing this right, but um, chelating agent. So basically, chelating agent is something that removes toxic metals out of water, uh, which it's kind of makes me question whether you know the the purity of this is so bad that that it, that it needs that. But but again, you know. If I want to get rid of toxic metals, maybe maybe that's what I should be consuming. And now, other things in here are extracts of carrot and hispicus, vitamin C flavorings, acidic acid sweeteners, acidotum K, and sucralose. So, this video, just like this bottle, is going to be full of controversy and bullshit. Enjoy. So after a bit of dance routine and, uh, and uh, warming up and stuff, 
I just start doing double overhand grip, just working up with weight in one or two repetitions at a time. Now my uh, my quadriceps are, are quite full of energy now, which uh, was was my hope and intention. Um, and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, trying to get a balance between my quadriceps and hamstring to, to be pulling simultaneously. And uh, the first few sets are obviously a bit off, so I'm just uh, teaching my body to to uh, to use that. Now each time I, I widen my grip a little bit, uh, creating a bit more room for my for my knees. Yeah, and uh, now I'm going to be showing off my abs a little bit. Wow. Again, just widening my grip every time. That's my friend John T. He's a, he's a bit of a perfectionist, and uh, you can see the struggle. I've, I've gained a lot of weight in the last two days, and my my muscles are taking a long time to to get get any blood flow. And any, any supply of fluids. Just explaining to uh, Coach John T that uh, this is a new belt and I'm not using the other one because I grew out of it last week. I um, I hate this belt. That's not true. I, I love this belt. I want to hate this belt, but, but I like it. I've got mixed feelings. Stupid feelings. Alright, thanks to John T, we're back in business. Coach John T and Absolute Fitness, he's a fantastic coach. I've known him for a long time. He's uh, one, of, one of the best coaches I've ever known. This is taking a long time because uh, I'm trying to uh, get rid of old habits, uh, changing my grip a little bit, going wider because uh, I've gained weight in my hips. Uh, hips uh, are not in the same place as usual so I need to make some room for my knees and strengthening my thigh abductors uh, lately and uh, and uh, hopefully I can uh, I can keep that stance and, uh, and keep balance in that stance so that's the first set of 220 yeah sort of happy with that Keep in mind, I said 10 sets or so, they were, they were actually just 7 sets. So the goal for this lift is to uh, just keep my, my heart rate down. And uh, in my mind, this is, uh, uh, this is, this is 260. So just uh, look at this, this is just 260. It is, it is, it is 260, that's a fact, for this particular athlete anyway, at this given moment in time. Okay. 
So the idea here is just to get up to 50% uh, of my uh, goal weight for uh, this uh, peaking period and, uh, and just do a simulation of all the sets that I will be doing later on uh, when I go for that uh, well sort of 100% weight. I hope it's not going to be 100% weight but, but of course I'm hoping to, to reach that destination uh, very soon. So the routine I go through in my head here and the, and the setup and everything is, uh, is 300 kilograms. So this would be uh, um, a preparation for 380 kilograms. Well, of course, I'm just working with 50% of my goal weight, but everything will be the same, hopefully, for 380. At this point, uh, I'm uh, preparing for 410 kilograms, so I set everything up the same way as I would for uh, future 410 kilograms. I get my heart rate up, and when I when I hit that sweet spot, I I just start preparing for the lift. I know this is taking a long time, but instead of just, you know, fast forward into the actual lifts, uh, because of all the questions I get, you know, I'm answering a lot of the questions I get just with, with uh, logging these uh, videos, and hopefully you guys can learn from it. But keep in mind, you know, this is this is this is my training and uh, this is uh, my coaching, and uh, it's it's. You never coach two people the same way. You, you know, you coach an individual. So this is not necessarily a, a winning formula for for everyone. But hopefully, you can learn from it. Here I, I keep, uh, you know, on this day I keep a lot of attention, attention to detail. Uh, so, so on the actual day where where uh, where I won't just go through a simulation of my lifts, but I will do the actual weights. I I'm prepared for it and, and it will just happen automatically. So this is the the day where I just set everything up in my mind, to visualize every single step of the way and go through it in my mind over and over and over again. Now I'm taking my time here because um, I've taken a long rest about eight minutes or so and uh, 
my my heart rate's gone down a little bit too much so i'm walking around just uh, flexing contracting my muscles waiting for my heart rate to to elevate slowly i don't want to elevate my heart rate too fast until it reaches about 110 115 or so and then i then i might up it to about 140 in a matter of seconds from there Well, I, um, I caught myself uh, laughing there solely because uh, I looked at my uh, my fancy watch and uh, it was it was reading um, about 65 beats per minute. Um, I wasn't I wasn't expecting that, so I had to do a little bit of running around in the background to actually uh, get up to my uh, my desired heart rate. So something new I, I do here, I try to tense my abs a little bit because uh, they, 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 sometimes, they sometimes shut off the power, possibly because I've had a few hernia operations. I never do to training though, the last time it happened because of uh, construction work, I was just uh, in a boob. So this lift would be 440, hopefully. Thank you so much guys for uh, watching my video. Um, uh, I'm curious to see how your reaction to this very long video. Now, there is a reason why I made it so long. It's just to uh, answer the collaboration of of uh, uh, questions I've got. I tried to put the answer to these questions uh, all in just one video, and that's why it's so long. So I hope it didn't bore you. I also wanted to keep one thing in mind. I never said this stuff was bad for you, just to clarify that. I, it's just my opinion that the marketing of it is is a, is a bit, well, I just think it's bullshit anyway. Now, I live in England and uh, English people absolutely love this stuff. Now, I didn't even know what black current use was before I moved here, but I feel very privileged that I can actually just go and, and buy these chemicals listed here just off the shelf and use them to my advantage on my journey. I also want to thank you guys that... Uh, bought my uh, t-shirts, um, I've, I've run out of stock in some sizes unfortunately, I'm sorry about that guys, uh, uh, but I've, I've, I've got some of the other sizes left. Now, just to explain the, the this video a little bit further, now, uh, this is just a mental preparation for w what is about to come, and to, to me, uh, that's oft, uh, in, in my opinion, that's very often neglected by athletes. Now. Uh, when when uh, when some people hear the the word mental state you know or or or, uh, or uh, mental preparation they they just think of something that's irrelevant like it's some sort of a higher purpose uh, mumbo jumbo bullshit but you know your nervous system is a is a is a biological mechanism you know it's a it's a it's an organ isn't it so it can be manipulated and uh, you can you can control it to an extent to your advantage and uh, and uh, if you're going for uh, peak performance in any sport you should should take advantage of that and uh, accept the fact that you you do have to consider your uh, your uh, nervous system as uh, one of the variables in training now i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much again for watching i'm going to sleep good night